Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Amanda. We're going to show you today how to use a stove properly. Alrighty. So we've got our stove here and Amanda's going to show us how to use it. We've got all our parts laid out. So we've got our maintenance repair kit, a pump, the cap, a lighter, and a stove, and our windshield. Okay. So I have taken the cap off of the bottle and put in the pump. And what we want to do is we want to attach this stove piece right here to the pump, to the bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this little hook thingy comes around like so instead of being behind it. And we're going to put this into the little hole here. And once that is securely in, we're going to put this right here to just hold it in place. And you're going to want to pump your stove about 20 times or so if it's new maybe a little less if it's not so new and we're just pumping it was probably inappropriate and we're just pumping it okay and after it has been pumped what we're gonna do is we're gonna let a little bit of the fluid out now if you look through here we turn this so it turns on which I'm having a little trouble here, but luckily Rachel is kind enough to uh, help. So now we're going to light it. There we go. And as you can see, it is burning. And we're going to let that fuel just burn off like so. Just, you know, you can hang out, watch the fire. Try not to let this blow away. It's a little windy here at the Naropa campus. Try not to get too close to the fire because you don't want to get caught on fire because that's not fun. Okay, so we're just going to let this burn. Burn that fuel out. Looking good. We should light it. And we're going to just open this up a little bit. And there we go. You can hear it actually coming out and there we go you'll see the blue around there you can hear it and our stove has been lit all right on to part okay, two so now we're going to be doing a little bit of stove cleaning um so here's a stove and i've just flipped it upside down um your hands are going to get dirty so just be prepared for that um so what i've got here is i'm going to take i've take i'm going to take this top off so i'm going to unscrew that then I'm going to take the piece off. The dragonflies might look a little bit different than this. Um, this is just the MSR one I had. Then you've got this piece here. So here's your wiring system. It's going to come up through here. You're going to pull this out. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, but I've just pulled this whole system out. Okay. So what we're really going to be cleaning is uh, this wire in here. And so some people, you can... Um, my bottle's got its pump in it, so I'm not going to show you right now, but you can pour some fuel in here. And in some other stoves, there's little pieces. You can put them in there and they can just sit in fuel so they can clean themselves. Um, for now, what I'm going to show you is how to clean this wire. So I'm going to take my little multi-tool kit, which is in my repair bag, which should be in all stove containers. I'll put this guy in here like that, just in a hole. Use my thumb and just try and pull this guy out. So just give me a second while I pull this thing out and some of the wires might be cleaner and they might be a little bit less might be a little easier than this one yeah you want to pause it Okay, so I just used this tool and I got the wire out and I just had to play with it a little bit. Sometimes the smaller holes work and you bend it back and get a really good grip on it and um, and take it out. It just, it might take some time to get it. So now I've got this wire out and what I want to do is clean it. So uh, ideally you'd have a rag with you. I've got a really cool recycled bar 
thing. Um, and you're just gonna take your rag and you're gonna wipe down all this stuff. So this is where your stove can get clogged really easily. Um, so just try and like give it a really good clean, um, get all of that gross stuff off of there. And once you've done that, this is like your main piece of cleaning. Um, you're gonna thread this back in here. So just like some of them are gonna be easier, some of them are gonna be harder. Um, I'm just pushing it all the way back in. Sometimes it'll like go into a certain point like this one and then um, and then not wanna budge. So just again, play with it, it might take time. Um, and if your stove is really clogged, maybe take it out again, wipe it down again, um, and try again. So really, if there's anything backed up in there, um, like this one is stopping at a very specific point, so that's always fun. But you can usually just slowly inch it, there you go, mm -hmm. through. Okay. All right, so I got it back in after some help. Thank you, Fritz. Um, put this in until it's a little bit has to stay out, obviously, because remember from the first part it has to go into this guy. Um, so now I'm done, and I'm going to put this back together. And this can be a little bit tricky, but this one is easier than the ones that we do have in Naropa because I don't have to thread it through one of these legs. I just put it right back in like that. Um, then I'm going to put this back on like so and then screw this top piece back on. So now I've cleaned uh, my stove. Um, the last piece I want to show you guys is just a little repairing. So um, here's your pump and your pump has two o-rings. Um, there's one inside of here which I'm going to show you how to take this off. And then there's one right in this thing. And this is one separate piece, so if this gets ruined, you might need to get a new this piece. Uh, but here's your pump, right? So there's directions on here. It says one, two, and three. I don't know if you can see that. But what you do is you align it first. You push it to a really tricky little spot, but you kind of just play with it. And you find the spot where the one arrow meets the end. And then you turn it, so I'm just going to play with this for a second. And then it clicks over, and once it clicks, then you pull it out. Here's my O-ring, right here. Um, so if this gets ruined, this is like probably what's going to get ruined the most. These stoves are pretty indestructible, so this is what you're going to need to uh, replace, which is really easy because you can just take it right off. Um, this is pump cup oil, so you can put dab of this. Um, okay, it's not open right now. So you can put a, um, a dab of this on your O-ring just to keep it um, lubricated, which will be healthy for the stove. Um, and that's it. So you can replace this. You can put some oil on it. Um, it's good to just check it out once in a while. And then you're just going to put it back in. the same way that you took it out and your pump is back in. Um, lastly, just to put the stoves away, um, we bring the legs over to one side, bring this guy around, hook it in like that so it's a little bit more compact. And then you have your bottle here. You're gonna let the pressure out um, of the white gas and then just like Take that guy out, let that dry. Put your cap back on. Put your supplies back into your bag. So again, your multi-tool um, pamphlet with directions and your oil, all back into your stove kit bag. So you want your stove in there, your lighter, your repair kit, your pump, and then your wind protection. So you just want to roll this up nice and neatly. And then the ground protection. And that is all that we have for you today on steps. Thank you. Big shout out to Fritz.